Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're going to be making the bevel washer. Uh, I've got the drawing right here. So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to draw this face right here. So the one with this arc on it on the left hand side. And then we're going to extrude it the 0.5 inches down. And then we're going to draw on the bottom face here, looking up this rectangle extension piece and then extrude that down away from the face. And then we're going to make a reference plane uh, from this right hand edge and this top plane of 30 degrees. And then we're going to draw this shape right here on top of that and extrude it up to this surface that we made first. And then finally, we're going to draw this circle here uh, on that reference plane that we made and extrude the hole all the way through. So I have the piece right here and we're going to build this piece right here first and then extrude it down. And then on this bottom face right here, we're going to build this rectangle and extrude it out. And then we're going to make this reference plane right here, 30 degrees off from the original plane, and then draw this face and extrude it up to here. And then lastly, draw this circle and extrude, cut it all the way through. All right. Get our new part going. We're going to sketch this on the top plane and we're going to start off with a rectangle. So remember to always start your drawings with a point at the origin to make them fully defined. So we have our rectangle and we're going to go on ahead and draw the arc on the left hand side. So I like using three point arc and then the easiest way to make these tangent with each other is just select this point, hold control, select this line and then come over here to the left and make them coincident. Now we can dimension these, so we see that it is three inches to right here, and it is four inches wide. And because we made this arc tangent to both of these lines, this automatically makes this fully defined, and because we uh, locked in a point on the origin, it makes the rest of this fully defined. So now we can go on ahead and extrude this, so we'll select both areas and it is 0 0.5 inches thick. And then on the bottom of this, we're gonna sketch on this face a rectangle, starting at this top right-hand corner and coming all the way down. And when you finish this rectangle, make sure that you have this bottom edge highlighted so that they are automatically collinear. Now all we've gotta do is define the width and it is 0 0.5. Now that that's done, we're ready to extrude it. So that area is going to be selected for extrusion. So it is a total of 0.75 inches off of the original face. So you can either extrude it 0 0.25 inches down, or the better way to do it is to select right here. So from sketch plane. So instead of sketch plane, we're going to select surface. And then it lets us manually select what surface we're measuring from. So we'll select this top face and then we'll set 0 0.75 inches. Now we have it exactly like the drawing is, so it's still the 0.25 inches down. However, if we were to change this drawing later, uh, it would still stay uh, the same with respect to the drawing. So now that that's drawn, we'll go on ahead and draw our reference plane. So we'll come up here to sketch, oh, sorry, features, and in the reference geometry, you'll see the plane. If you don't see that, you're in a sketch and you will need to exit that sketch. So if you're in a sketch, the only thing that's available is mate, is mate reference. So exit your sketch, hit reference geometry and select plane. Now we're gonna select two planes. So we're gonna select this front face and this top face. And over here on the left, we're gonna click this angle with an A. There we go. Sorry about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually select this line right here and this face. So not this face and this face, but this line and this top face. And that's what we're going to make the reference with respect to. So this line and this face. 
and then come over here on the left and select angle and then we'll type in whatever degree we want so so we'll select this angle at 30 uh, if it's going the wrong direction hit this flip offset button and it will do 30 degrees each way so we want it 30 degrees up just like that hit the check mark and then we will start a sketch on that plane we move it up a little bit to see it better and now we're going to draw a rectangle starting at this line right here and then coming up like that you see that it is three inches wide and this total is four inches wide so we know that it's 0 0.5 each inches on each side so the way that we're going to do that is we're going to define here to this line of 0 0.5 and this width right here of three inches and that fully defines the width now we need to draw a arc on top once again make it tangent so select this point select this line with control and select coincident and then lastly we need to define this height which is let me look on my drawing 2.5 inches and now we can extrude this so we'll go to features extrude select both of these areas and this is what i was saying so you're going to go from the sketch plane and instead of blind select up to surface and you can select this surface or you can just click up to next and it will automatically extrude this until it hits its next surface once again if it's going the wrong way just hit that flip button right there so from sketch plane we'll do up to next hit the check mark and now it's extruded and then lastly we need to draw this circle to do the cut with so remember you hover over the arc until this point shows up click the point and now you can draw a circle that is concentric to it automatically grab the dimension tool and it is 1.5 inches diameter then you can go to extrude a cut it should automatically select it and then come up here to through all and that is it for the bevel washer comment below with any questions